recession is turning many families upside down, and some couples are finding their roles being reversed. Dr. Julie Rosenzweig is here to talk about the realities of job layoffs. This can be so devastating it to a really relationship when you have this immediate ro role reversal. Mm -hmm. It seems to me that more men are experiencing layoffs than women. Why is this? They really are, and if you look at where the recession or the economic crisis has hit most hard, it really is in industries where the workers are mostly men. So you've got construction, you've got manufacturing, some areas of the financial world, as well as, um, say, for example, the high-tech world. Right. Whereas where women might be more predominant, such as teaching, health care, other kind of service-related mm -hmm. areas, haven't been as hard hit. So even if women are working part-time, they're keeping those part-time jobs, whereas men who've had careers for many, many years are getting their layoff notices. And those men are now at home. Yes. Maybe they have kids. What kinds of challenges are dads facing when now they're out of the workforce and they're, they're back at home with the kids? It's really a huge challenge. In, and for men, their job isn't just what they do, but oftentimes it's who they are. Their so identity. A lot of their identity is tied up with that. So they're really very disoriented, not being in the workplace, not having that primary role as breadwinner and contributing to the family um, in a financial way, which they're very socialized. And they're not so sure kind of what to do with the kids and the house because they haven't been there doing that primary role, and they're conflicted in terms of should they be looking for a job or taking care of the kids. Well, and that brings up another good point because maybe mom is still working. Yeah. She's the primary breadwinner now, and now a you lot really of have, I was going to say, a lot of pressure. It's a lot of pressure because typically she doesn't make as much as he does, or if she's just working part-time, part -time. Mm -hmm. you know, can she expand that, or does she have to take a second part-time job? And usually there's been some commitment in the family that she still is kind of the primary person for the kids in the house, and we know from research mm -hmm. that even if you're both working full-time, she's taking on more of that. So she's pulled away from some of the roles that she really loves, and there's a real loss for her to not be there as a mom with the kids as much, and just shouldering that financial pressure. She She's not used to that at all. So there's a lot of tension and a lot of pressure for both the mom and the dad in the family. Well, you mentioned the word tension because you're, yes. go you're going to have that. You may maybe have some depression on, mm -hmm. on dad's part. Very so much so. So what are some of the issues that are going to arise here possibly in, in, in the family now? Yeah, and you said he can be very shut down mm -hmm. and, and really be experiencing some depression. Mm -hmm. And the couple in the family is going to experience challenges above and beyond just the financial pressures because of that role reversal. They're just in a sea of emotions. There's ups, there's downs, there's no one to blame. And so it's really hard for them to figure out how to continue to talk about it and how to see a light at the end of the tunnel. So these families and these couples in particular, their, their primary relationship is under a lot of assault at this point with this role reversal. So let's give some folks at home yes. some strategies because I know we have some people watching right now who Absolutely. are going through this, they're nodding their heads, they're yeah. identifying with this. Let's help them out. What can they do to yeah. really kind of turn things around and bring an uplifting feeling in the right. home? Right, so there's no blame. So right. let go of the blame. You know, you're, you're in no this crisis. Fault. Um, together and maintaining a partnership in this is absolutely crucial. Yeah, you, you're in this together. Yes. Now, one of the challenges is you can only talk about it so much and you know that each of you are having a lot of emotions. So, if you can't talk about it, stop talking about it, but hang out together. Make that physical contact. Sometimes your love life goes down with this as well, but at least stay in physical contact with each other. Talk about it as you can and find the silver lining. For men, it's a wonderful opportunity to build connections and relationships with their children. For women, it's a time to discover some ambition and some talents that maybe you haven't been able to express before. So there are little silver linings. So build on those, stay connected, hold hands, cuddle mm -hmm. on the couch. Well, I was just going to say that you bring up a great point. Be thankful for what you do have. And, Absolutely. And, and like you said, look for the silver lining. Yeah, really good. Very Julie, much so. thank you so much. This has been Better.TV. For more stories like the one you just saw, catch the weekday television program Better, your source for styles, trends, relationships, beauty, fitness, and other stories that will help make your day better. Check local TV listings to see if Better airs in your city. Thanks for watching.